of quite some time. And although you have retired from the competitive aspect of it, you still continue to, to play a part. But before you get to that part, uh, many you know, pe people watching know you have many people in the New York area here who are saying, darn, Sandy's in New York. And I, I, I didn't know. Well, that's why, <laughs> <laughs> that's why Cameron likes to have you on. So tell us about your experiences since you've been outside of the, the game. Well, I have to say I'm still missing it. Um, I'm missing it a lot. It's only, um, I think, this last December is two years at, um, since I've retired. So I still have that urge sometimes to go back out there, but I'm older now and I can't do it anymore. Uh, I, what I do um, now is like stay involved with um, track athletes, help write workouts and help mm -hmm. a few athletes. So it makes me feel like I'm still doing it. So mm -hmm. that's how I like soak up that sponge. Right, that right. I'm, yeah. I'm an advisor to some of the athletes. I'm helping Noveline Williams. She's um, the 400 finals is coming up and she should make the team to Beijing. I'm also doing personal training in Austin, Texas. So I'm just trying my hands in a lot of stuff. And, um, uh, I'm kind of worried because I don't know what she's going to do and um, I want to go into the coaching. So I'm, mm -hmm. hopefully um, you know, <laughs> she can give me that boost. Yeah. You know, you know you're, you're, you're the champion from the, the great parish of Clarendon, right? And I know that Clarendon College um, um, probably boasts you as their number one athlete ever. And in looking back at your career and, and, and your time in the trenches and the, the hard work you've put in, and you look back at this year, uh, last year's Olympics, for example, and you see all the fanfare and the revelry that these athletes have gotten, would you say that, darn, Sandy Richards was ahead of her time? Or <laughs> Well, I was. They're still running the same times I, I, I was running. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're, you know, now that the sport is a little bit cleaner, so mm -hmm. we can see those times, you know. But I was running those times, like um, Sharika and so forth, mm -hmm. got a medal with, and I still didn't get a silver medal. So right. um, I wasn't um, ahead of my time, so to speak. I was just in the wrong era where the Germans mm -hmm. and, the, and the Russians and stuff were, yeah, and, and Everybody the knows. The tainted, yes, the tainted the, atmosphere. Yes. And so I wasn't getting my dues. But I've won a few medals, so I can't complain too right. much. Well, know, well. So.